I am Photoshop Artist and in this video I will show you how you can create from these images this epic artwork using Photoshop. You can download template with used stock images for free via link in the description. Let's get started. Drop here a photo of the landscape and scale it up to the edges. Now we need to cut out the skull, so I use an object selection tool and then select a mask, where I take a basic brush tool and pay the back or remove the tiles. You can switch the view between mask and original image when pressing X. And if you want to have the same green mask background as I, you can change color below view mode on the right panel. When you are satisfied with the selection, select Output to Layer Mask and hit OK. Now you can place the skull where you want and even rotate it a little bit. Because we want to make mountains bigger, add a photo of the mountain with the bright clouds. Place it on the right side behind the skull and remove the hard edge with a soft brush. Then do the same thing with another mountain. I recommend rotating it to the right to fit the tilt of the hill below. I also want to make the foreground more prominent. And instead of adding another photo, I will just enlarge a rock with grass on the left. I again use the object selection tool and I fix details with a quick selection tool. When you have a rock selected, press Ctrl plus J to copy selection. Then just scale up a new layer of the rock. But the rock is not that sharp anymore, so make sure that the layer is a smart object and apply a sharpen filter. Add background image and layer with a rock to the one group. Hold Ctrl and click on the layers to select more than one layer and then you can click the group icon to add all selected layers to the group. I want to make highlights on the background photo a little bit brighter. So I add levels adjustment layer and drag the right slider a little bit to the left. To adjust colors, add color balance and play with the values. On the top you can select if you want to edit highlights, shadows or midtones. I personally like highlights more magenta and yellow and shadows in contrast blue and cyan. Let's start blending mountains in. Add levels adjustment layer to lower contrast a bit and clip it to layer with mountain. Just hold alt and click between layers. Try to match colors to other photos with color balance and make highlights and shadows the same colors as the background image. To blend the mountain more nicely, take a soft brush and make the bottom smoother and fix other edges with a hard brush. When you need to change the size or hardness of the brush, just hold Alt and drag with the mouse up or to the side. To match the color haze, add solid color. Don't forget to clip it to the mountain. 
Turn off visibility of the mountain layer. Open color fill settings and click on the dark blue place from the background photo. Decrease opacity to around 60% and open blending options with a right click. Go to the underlying layer area and drag white sliders to the left. To separate them hold ALT. This will remove color fill from the highlights. I think that first mountain looks good and we can move to the another mountain. It is exactly the same process as with the first mountain. So if you want you can copy adjustment layers and then play with your more individual values a little bit. To blend the skull, first of all add levels and increase highlights a little bit. Then add color balance with similar values as mountains. Tip of the skull should be bright as the top. So to fix that, add ex exposure adjustment layer, drag top slider a little bit to the right. Then press Ctrl and I to invert mask and paint over areas which should be lighter. I think that there should be a rim light on the horn on the left. Add hue and saturation, click colorize, make hue slider somewhere between orange and red and lightness around 75. Again invert mask and paint on the edge of the horn. I also edit same dark blue color fill as on mountains to shadows using blend if. I used soft brush to make bottom edge little bit fade out to the ground. To make teeth of the skull fade out little bit to the forest below, I used custom tree brushes from Imat Avan. If you want to download them, link is in the description. There must be shadow on the ground behind the school. So I use dark blue color fill and removed it from the darkest areas with a blend if to keep contrast there. To make the shadow right below the school darker, I added an empty layer, selected color from the shadow of the school and painted it over the area. I also removed shadow from the sun tips of the trees on the edge to make it look more realistic. This time, instead of adding a character, I decided to go with a goat, because it is a common animal in the mountains. I made a rough selection with an object selection tool, then fixed the hair on the back with a refined edge brush tool. Coat will stand on the rock on the left. I made it darker with levels and adjusted color with color balance. Also I painted the highlights on the top with exposure. To add shadows to the ground, add another dark blue color fill layer to the ground and click while holding control on the goat and then add mask to the color fill layer. Flip it, extend it and select blending mode multiply. To achieve the effect of depth of the field, add the rock on the right. Adjust colors with color balance and then convert both layers to one smart object layer and apply Gaussian Blur around 10 pixels. 
I also wanted to add the giant ribs to the background. So I cut them out from this photo and I clipped blue color to it to add a haze effect. To paint a few highlights on the ribs I added color fill with a light color from the light top of the background. Time to paint fog and clouds around the wall artwork. So I again use custom brushes and paint with very low flow, around 3% everywhere, where I feel like clouds or fog should be. Keep in mind that fog in the shadows must be dark color and opposite on the light. Few particles won't hurt. So select blending mode screen, invert mask and paint back where do you want particles. For birds I again used custom brushes. I painted over the wall artwork with a purple and other colors and selected blending mode soft light and lowered opacity. This will unify artwork nicely. To make main elements as a goat and skull pop even more, paint over the edge with light core and use blending mode overlay. When you are done, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to merge all layers. Then convert it to the smart object and add camera raw filter. I recommend increasing clarity and texture. You can play with the other values as you want. This is my final result. I hope you learned something and if you want to support me please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always leave a comment on how you like it and what type of artwork would you like to see next. Thanks for watching.